here today with an unbagging of, I'm not sure quite how many diving paintings I'm going to open, uh, from New Homie. So New Homie is a relatively new store and I've done a few unboxing videos for them. They approached me and asked me if I would review some of their diamond paintings. And so I have, uh, so I picked a number of diamond paintings from them and I got the first shipment a few weeks ago and started posting videos. And um, I'll tell you something that actually shocked me. <laughs> My contact at New Homie, his name is Kevin. And Kevin not only watches the video that I send him, he monitors the comments that people leave on those videos. And he responds, <laughs> like, instantly. And I don't just mean he responds and says, oh, thank you very much, you know, uh, I'm glad you like our products or anything like that. No. When somebody has said, I don't like this or I don't like that, he fixes it instantly. So the first video, I think it was the first video, it might have been the second video that um, that I opened from New Homie. I, um, after I opened it, uh, the site started having these little uh, bubbles coming down the screen. And one of my, and I had noticed it when I was, uh, you know, shopping myself, because, you know, I've, I've got a huge wish list on uh, New Homie. Um, and I'd noticed that there were these little, you know, bubbles coming down the screen. And it was kind of annoying, I gotta say. But I thought, I'm not gonna, you know, what the heck, I'm still gonna shop there. But one of my commenters, uh, like one of my viewers, commented that she didn't like those snowflakes. Not, they weren't snowflakes. But she didn't like the, uh, oh my goodness, you guys. I'm trying to do two things at once, so I'm not talking very well. Um, she didn't like the little bubbles that came down because it obstructed her view of the diamond paintings. Um, and so Kevin saw that note from her on my you know, comments and instantly responded that I've taken the, the snowflakes away. He said, you know, because we're approaching Christmas season, he thought it would be festive. And, you know, since people were finding it annoying, he just took it away, right away. So I was shocked, <laughs> like very pleasantly shocked, but holy smokes, that's never happened to me. I've done a lot of unbaggings or unboxings from companies that have asked me to review diamond paintings and no one's ever responded that quickly to uh, comments or complaints or constructive feedback that has been given. So I was pretty impressed. Well, last night, I posted another uh, video uh, and it was the Red Tree of Life. I can't remember what number it was, but um, it is a beautiful tapestry picture. Primary color would be red. Uh, it is 30 by 50, I think is the, or 30 by 55 is the advertised size. Uh, the, the actual size of the diamond painting, like the drill area was, 20, I think it was 24 or 25 by 49. I remember that. Um, and it was a gorgeous image. Absolutely gorgeous image. The diamond painting was just too small. And so one of my comments, one of the comments that a viewer left for me was, is that a peacock in the center of the, of the tapestry? And I actually went back and watched the video again because even though I had recorded the video, I had the diamond painting in my hands, I edited the video, and then I watched it again before I actually posted it just to make sure that, you know, it was okay. Um, I had thought it was a crane. So in the center of the diamond painting, so I went back and I'm gonna just flash that picture up or I flashed it up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. Gorgeous picture, right? Anyway, so I'm looking at it on the screen and it's like, Oh yeah, that might be a peacock with a red tail. But the thing is that the painting was so small 
that the detail just completely disappeared. Uh, so Kevin saw all the comments, which almost every single comment, if not every comment was, I love this image, but it's too small. And Kevin wrote and said, what size would you like it in? We'll have it redesigned in, you know, whatever size you want. So I got in touch with him and said, look, something like this, I think would look fantastic in a 50 by a hundred. And, um, and I also, there's a bunch of tapestry diamond paintings on the new homie site. And I know I'm like, I'm not opening this diamond painting, but I, this just happened last night and I'm still like blown away. So I have to share this with you. Um, so I sent him links for the other, I don't know, four or five tapestries. They look like William Morris top tapestries, uh, which I love William Morris. Um, but you know, after I saw the red tree of life, I thought, mm, I'm not going to get the others because they're just too small. Like it would be a heartbreak to do a diamond painting that is so beautiful, but that comes out looking like you can't tell if it's a stork or a peacock, like seriously, um, let alone all the other details. So I got in touch with him and I let him know. And, um, so I'm waiting to hear back from him, but, uh, he's, uh, oh, but I did see this morning cause you know, in China, it's quite a few hours difference. I start getting email from them at uh, around 9 PM. So I suspect that they're 12 hours ahead of me. And, uh, so like this morning I got up and there was a response from Kevin saying he's already asked his designers to redesign the tree, the red tree of life. And would I like to take a look at the, the new version, uh, when it's ready. And it's like, yes, please. Because that is one of the most beautiful tapestries I've ever seen. And so, I would absolutely love to see it in a larger size. Okay, so that's the intro. So now I'm gonna put up the title card for this diamond painting. And now you know what it is and I don't because I haven't opened it yet. Oh, okay. I call this one Paper Heart. And that is because just a sec. Let me, um, hold on. First, there's some, uh, I'm, I'm not able to get the creases out until I flatten this paper down, or not paper, the plastic down a little bit, and then that'll make it easier to fold it back on itself. Well, to, um, to roll it back on itself to get rid of some of these minor nail increases. Uh, because, you know, when you get diamond paintings in, in bags like this, which for this size diamond painting, that's what I would expect, uh, is to get it in a bag. Uh, especially when they're, you know, from companies that are, uh, you know, you get a bargain uh, price for the diamond paintings. So, see, already the diamond painting is pretty much flattened out. So I am going to be honest with you, my friends. I have been admiring this diamond painting for probably a year and a half. I've seen it in so many different stores. And what always put me off, <laughs> quite honestly, was uh, I wasn't sure if it would turn out too pixelated. And until very recently, I have not been interested in doing diamond paintings that have all this color blocking because all of this is one symbol. So, um, and I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's 5,200. So, um, and because it's always offered in the 30 by 40 size, which, you know, we're going to measure, but I suspect it's a little bit uh, less than 30 by 40. In fact, I know it's less than 30 by 40. It's probably 24 or 25. It is 20, four and three quarters. So we'll call that 25 by 34 and a smith, 34 and a half. So we'll call it 25 by 35. Um, so I was afraid that 
you know, the paper folds might be a little bit pixelated. Now I'm looking at it with my eyes and then I'm looking at it through the camera. And with my eyes, it does look a little bit pixelated. Through the camera though, it looks beautiful. And uh, it looks like what I would hope that it would, um, that it would be. And so I actually think that when there are diamonds on this, it'll probably look lovely from a distance. Uh, now, you know I do post-completion reviews for everything that I finish, and sometimes on Patreon I'll post uh, my works in progress, um, but uh, which reminds me, I haven't done that for a while. But anyway, I've been so busy making videos, I haven't had a lot of time to do other stuff. Um, yeah, so I think it'll look fine. Uh, and... Yeah, I think it's going to look fine because looking through the camera, it looks fantastic. With my eyes, I can see pixelation, but there's also the fact that because there's no actual drills and you see all the letters, that makes your eyes sort of interpret it differently than it would when you have the uh, drills on there. Now, you guys know I always print a uh, an inventory sheet for all of my diamond paintings. And um, so this is the image, now it's black and white, but see how intricate that is? I'm hoping to get a sense of that uh, intricacy when this is finished. We'll see. This has 27 colors, which is pretty awesome for a diamond painting this size and for this price. So I'm just, I keep track of how many colors each of my diamond paintings are. Okay. Um, and this is number 416, I think. So let me just, there we go. Label it so that it doesn't get lost in my inventory. And 25 by 35. Actually, you know what? Kevin has said that uh, he's looking for suggestions uh, to make his website perfect. And I'm going to make a suggestion. Now, sometimes the images with a diamond painting, like when you click on the, the main image, you get an, uh, sometimes you get a picture of what the canvas looks like so that you can decide, oh yeah, that's going to look too pixelated or nope, that's going to look just fine for me. If all of the images had um, a picture of the canvas, just like this, that would be really, really helpful to shoppers because then nobody would ever be disappointed with what they got. They would have been able to see exactly what they were going to buy. Now this, I think I probably would have bought even if there was a um, picture of this uh, canvas. Um, but I can't remember if there was or not for this, honestly. I can't remember. I picked them like a month or more ago. Um, yeah, so a lot of talk, a lot of talk. Uh, so let's take a look at the legend. And there are no DMC colors on, on this. And Kevin, that would be another thing. If you could include the DMC numbers beside, like on the legend, that would be fantastic. It's not, you know, a terrible thing, but I have had viewers comment in the past that they don't buy diamond paintings if they know that there are not going to be DMC numbers on the canvas. So just a suggestion, uh, something to keep in mind. I don't care that much. If I like an image, I'll buy the diamond painting. If I have to sort the drills someday, that's fine. And my place is big enough that I can put a big tub in the corner with spare drills to sort uh, for some day when I don't feel like diamond painting. And those days do come from time to time. Okay, so a lot of talk today. I'm just so excited about this company. Like you guys, you have no idea. I've never gotten that kind of responsiveness before. Um, so anyway, uh, and uh, yeah. So did I already say that I got these diamond paintings for free? I did get these diamond paintings for free. I don't want you like, but that's not why I'm raving about them. 
Uh, there's actually another one in this kit, the, in this bunch that I got, that I think will probably not be very good. <laughs> and I bought it because I wanted to be able to show you guys and perhaps teach you guys what to look for when you're looking at diamond paintings online. Uh, and I will be brutally honest when I get to that one. Okay, um, so here we go. Uh, we have numbers and letters as the legend. And we'll take a look at the canvas itself. Look how clear that is. That is perfectly clear. There's no guide circles, which makes me very happy. I love that there are no guide circles. But then again, there are many of you out there who like the guide circles. I'm just going to say one more time that with the round diamond paintings, if there's no guide circles, as long as you cover the symbol completely, generally you will have nice straight lines. And for those of you who like guide circles, you see how there is a circle. Let me blow this way up so, so you can see it better. You see how there is a circle of color for every single spot on the diamond painting? Uh, that's also going to be a guide for you. So uh, I honestly believe that you would be happy doing a diamond painting that doesn't have circles. Um, if you haven't tried it before, I would suggest go ahead and try one. Maybe not this one. Pick one that you like the image for. Uh, if you have tried doing one that doesn't have guide circles and you didn't like it, well, you know best uh, because we're all different and you know what you like best. Now, uh, this is super clear. I don't use a light pad on diamond paintings this size. Uh, generally speaking, and these are the size of diamond paintings that when I travel, I take these with me, uh, this size and smaller. So um, I wouldn't need to take a light pad. So this is very, very clear. That's going to be nice and easy to work with, and it's going to be fun, and I want to get good at using the biggest possible multi-placers. So <laughs> I'm going to practice with, the, I think there's like a 15-placer in my package of diamond uh, like uh, multi-placers and I just noticed now this is just a funny little thing but there's one spot on this canvas right where is it right there you see that a spot that has no symbol on it that's not a big deal because guess what I'm gonna put white there <laughs> but um, I'm always intrigued when there's one spot on a canvas that doesn't have uh, a symbol on it I've had a very few canvases like that. In fact, I think this is maybe the third canvas that I've had where there's like one spot without uh, a drill. And I figure that's the place where you can be creative. You can put any color you want there and make it your own personal diamond painting that, uh, that will be unlike anything anybody else has. Okay, so uh, that's a super long intro. And now, here's another thing that I absolutely love. When I get diamonds that are weighed and that are pre-bagged for me in the Ziploc baggies, that saves me at least a half an hour of time spent kitting up. Now, some of you love kitting up, so you might not like, you know, you might like the individual bags more. We're all different. Um, but I love it when I get diamond paintings that are pre-kitted. I feel like they have done extra work to support me. Uh, and look at these colors. They are absolutely uh, gorgeous. And you know what? I am actually not going to take these drills out of the bag. I am, uh, because they're so beautifully laid out here that we can see every single color. So uh, we're just going to take a look quickly at the drills because I know a lot of you like to see exactly what you're going to get. So I'm looking for drills that have flat bottoms with no uh, flash, no little oozy bits from around the mold for the diamonds. 
and I want diamonds that are sharply cut on top so that they will sparkle and I am very happy with what I see here I know I'm going way faster for the drills than I usually do uh, but that's because I spent so much time gushing about Kevin I, I mean if everybody at New Homie is like Kevin they have got a dream team going on because really it's spectacular uh, now another thing that I'm going to tell you while we're looking at these drills is that uh, the link that you'll find for this diamond painting down below is an affiliate link so I am an affiliate of New Homie and um, I went into their affiliate program because I had checked out their website and I was happy with what I saw there and that was before I found out about their excellent customer service um, and so I get a small commission I can't remember what it is like maybe two percent or something like that three percent um, for any purchases that are made when you use that link um, there is an offset for you because New Homie has given me a discount code for use by my viewers. So when you go in and buy a diamond painting or a bunch of diamond paintings or accessories or anything else on the New Homie site, when you're at the checkout screen, there is a code like coupon code or discount code field. Enter Rambling Rose, all one word, that is the discount code for for me and I don't get anything if you use that code but you get 15% off so um, so don't forget to use the discount code I'll flash that up on the screen so that you can see it but um, don't forget to use that code and I'm also uh, putting it down below in the description to this video um, and I in all my videos just so you know from now on uh, all of my affiliate links will be down in the body of the description of all the videos so you can check out um, new homie from any video okay uh, so I did not see anything here that concerned me at all everything looks good the colors are just phenomenal I'm gonna love 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 working on this now, if I find anything when I'm when I do get around to working on this, and you guys know I do penny picks, uh, and um, so it'll come up when I pick the penny, uh, and I'll work on it then. If I find anything, you know that I will be very detailed in my post completion review, and so you'll know everything that I know about working on this diamond painting but I have not seen anything that makes me concerned I forgot to show you the kit it is a standard kit uh, it's got so what you have right here that comes in the bag is everything you need to do this diamond painting um, I spend all my free time doing diamond paintings uh, because during COVID-19 what else is there to do and now you know it's getting worse uh, there's flare-ups all over the world again so you know we're being encouraged where I am to you know back off the whole socializing thing and stuff like that so I'm pretty much back to self quarantine and so I'm gonna be doing a lot of diamond paintings and hopefully this one will come up okay so um, I would say this one's a win let me zoom back out again I would say this one's a win um, it's not perfectly detailed but it's well enough detailed and these colors are spectacular uh, so that's the first diamond painting that we're unboxing and let's see how much time has that been that's been about 24 25 minutes so I think I have time for one more video today painting number two okay diamond painting number two is actually not a diamond painting it 
is a diamond painting notebook. Uh, you guys know that I absolutely adore diamond painting notebooks. Uh, they are some of my absolutely favorite things in the diamond painting um, products category. Uh, and part of what I love about them is they're super sparkly. And the other thing that I love about them is that when they're done, you can use them. They're actually useful things. So before I get into describing this notebook, let's just take a look at the kit. Comes with a basic kit, wax, boat, pink pen. Everything you need to complete that diamond painting. All right, let me show you this up close. So with diamond painting notebooks, uh, there is no inventory. You just diamond paint according to the numbers on the diamond painting, uh, like on the cover. So this one appears to have at least 14 colors. We'll find out in just a moment. Um, so they're generally easy to do. And what I love about them too is that they're nice and quick projects. So you can finish one of the, well, I can finish one of these. This one would not take me like an hour and a half or two hours. This would probably take me closer to three, three and a half hours to finish. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Um, and this one here, I, oh, this one is number 424 in my inventory. And I call it the Green and Red Mandala Notebook. This one is unlined and it's advertised as 50 pages on the New Homey website. Now, one of the nice things about the New Homey website is that it indicates whether your diamond painting notebooks are lined or unlined. And even though this is unlined, and I do prefer lined notebooks, um, I have a little trick to show you, which I'll show you before we get into looking at too much more. So I, I have a number of notebooks in this order, so I'm just going to show you. I did this in advance. I just took one of these, um, I think it's five by eight or something like that, uh, little blocks of paper, and I drew two lines in black ink, just freehand, uh, on the pre-printed page. Because what I, I don't like to write crooked, and I will write crooked if I don't use a guide. So when I get an unlined notebook, what I do is I stick the sheet that has lines behind the, uh, the, the page of the notebook, and then I have guidelines to write on. And I have, you know, those are the two lines I blackened, but you can vaguely see these other lines through it as well. So, you know, whether you do what I did and blacken the lines, which is what I do for these notebooks, or whether you just stick the lined note in there, that's, it's up to you. Um, and then I just move that page uh, behind the next pages. So um, that's how I get around the no lines. And the reason that I go to the trouble of doing this is that there are way, way, way more uh, special shape cover notebooks that have no lines than ones that have lines. So, and some of the ones that I find the most beautiful are the ones that have no lines. So, one of the things that is fantastic about these notebooks is that other people love to get them. I know very, very few people who don't use notebooks for something. Uh, and so I absolutely adore having notebooks on hand that I can give to somebody, well, before the pandemic, give to somebody when I'm going out for dinner, with them at their house or you know somebody's birthday and oh I forgot or you know somebody's daughter's birthday or something like that and it's like well you know I should I should take something uh, you know I don't have to go shopping because I've got a bunch of these notebooks that are ready to give away and uh, all I have to do is just wrap them so um, they're fantastic and what I use them for is uh, this is what I keep my notes on each one of my diamond paintings in because you know that 
when I'm working on a diamond painting, those of you who watch my post-completion videos know that I keep very detailed notes, generally very detailed notes, on every single one of my diamond paintings. Uh, you know, I talk about the experience of diamond painting, what I liked, what I didn't like about a particular kit, and then at the end when I shoot my video, I give you all the detail and I don't have to rack my memory to see, you know, did I like doing this one? Did I not? I can actually remember. Anyway, that's what these notebooks are for me. Um, and I actually had a friend of mine <laughs> just uh, we were having a backyard get together recently and uh, and I was talking about you know the diamond paintings and and that I was waiting for this shipment because it had some beautiful notebooks in it and she said "Ooh, you're getting notebooks she said oh, your notebooks are really nice and it's like bingo she loves notebooks like she always has notebooks on hand so I think I might give this one to her anyway okay uh, so that's that at least 14 colors now let's take a look at these drills and I'm not sure if my camera is gonna turn on sorry I'm just touching my phone to see how hot it is um, because it'll turn off the, the camera the flash not the camera it'll turn off the flash if uh, it overheats so yeah there are 14 colors or 14 kinds of drills so let's take a look and for this I will put on I will put on the flash because it's going to make these look even better so first is this beautiful beautiful golden yellow crystal drill and then we have this sapphire blue crystal drill and then more of an ice blue crystal drill and then this is like an evergreen or an emerald green crystal. And then this, I call it like pink champagne color crystal drill. And then, okay, by now you guys have heard me say this so many times. These are just about my favorites. They are the clear crystal drills and they, their only purpose is to sparkle. That's all they do is sparkle. And they do it very well and I love them. Oh my god. Okay. Look at this. These drills are gorgeous. They are blue, uh, faceted, sort of teardrop shaped, long teardrop shaped uh, drills, but they have the polychromatic iridescent coating on them. I guess iridescent. I think I'm going to switch from polychromatic to iridescent from now on to describe that finish. Um, that iridescent coating like you get on the back of a beetle, for example. I, I remember when I was down in California a couple of years ago, uh, we were watching this huge beetle walking across the beach and its back was this, <laughs> without the facets. Uh, anyway, just gorgeous. And then we have these uh, tear shaped, are they tear shaped? Yeah, they're tear shaped. Um, orange sort of golden orange uh, dome topped drills that have an opalescent coating on them and then here we have the crystal faceted drills uh, with that iridescent coating on them as well and they are also sort of teardrop shape Ooh, and then here we have these green seed shaped faceted drills with the iridescent coating on it that is so beautiful and then some more of these clear teardrop shaped drills with the iridescent coating they're faceted and they're smaller than the ones that we were looking at hold on they're smaller than these ones that we were looking at so again they have one purpose and one purpose only and that is to sparkle and so if you like sparkle, this is going to be a super sparkly notebook. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm looking at this with my eyes and I'm looking at it through the camera. And with my eyes, it actually looks way better. Um, these are gorgeous, sort of sapphire blue, rounded top, round drills. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then we have these white pearl um, dome top drills. Uh, also beautiful and then finally 
we have these round faceted purple drills with the iridescent coating on them and again they are sparkling like crazy so i just have to say that this notebook is absolutely stunning um i mean it doesn't look like much here but with all these drills on it it is going to be absolutely beautiful 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 i've never been disappointed with a diamond painting notebook uh it doesn't matter what the well i tend to go for the mandalas or the super busy things uh, i think i've got some cats i've got some owls etc um but uh I've never been disappointed with the way one of my notebooks turns out. Whether it's got lines or no lines, they always look great. And they always make great gifts. People love getting these as gifts. So, I mean, there's Thanksgiving coming up. I, I don't know if you're going to be eating at somebody else's house because we're probably all going to be self-quarantining again or in very small bubbles. Um, Christmas is coming up and again whether you're going to be seeing people or just sending them gifts through the mail something like this would be a great gift to give them this is also a great gift to give if you have somebody cleaning your house or babysitting your kids or you know whatever great gift nobody's going to be disappointed if they get a beautiful gift like this and uh, you know if you can and telling them that you made it uh, just makes it that much more special. So there you go, everybody. Uh, that is my very long double unboxing video for New Homie. Uh, and I will be coming back to you again really, really soon with another diamond painting unboxing video. And I still have, I think I've got 13 more diamond paintings uh, from New Homie to unbag. And I'm, I gotta tell you, after last night and the previous new homie diamond painting video that I posted on YouTube, I am so excited <laughs> to see what Kevin has to say because I just, I'm just dying to find out what, uh, what he has to say. And, um, if you guys have any comments about anything you see on the new homie website, um, or, in this video or my other new homie videos don't hesitate to share that with me if you have a comment about something because what I've learned is that they are very very responsive to customer feedback and I'd be happy to pass that along there might also be an email address on their website I'll check that out and if there is I will put it up on the screen right here and you can contact them directly if you have uh, comments or questions. Uh, but please don't hesitate because they really do seem to care about their customers from you know the, the, the exchanges that I've seen. And if you don't believe me, go and check out the Red Tree of Life uh, that I posted on, I believe it was September 24th. Um, and check out all those comments because Kevin, responded to me he responded to another one of my viewers and uh like wow so um with that i feel like a fangirl anyway <laughs> i'm trying to like i'm trying to be objective and like i say i expect that there will be some diamond paintings in this order that aren't going to be as beautiful as others um, but I am really, really happy with what I've seen today. And um, I hope you are too. And if you are interested in either one of these diamond paintings, check the descriptions below. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I am going to come back to you again tomorrow. In the meantime, I want all of my patrons to know how much I appreciate your support. And I want all my viewers and subscribers to know how much I appreciate you taking time with me often on a daily basis uh, and letting me know your thoughts so please continue that you can share your thoughts with a like or a dislike on the video you can share your thoughts with a comment you know I love your comments I try to respond to as many of them as I can and um, yeah come back visit with me again tomorrow bye bye everybody